Sup guys, it's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve a problem involving Ampere's Law. The problem reads, A steady state current flows down a long cylindrical wire of radius A, as in this figure. Find the magnetic field both inside and outside of the wire if, letter A, the current is uniformly distributed over the outside surface of the wire, and letter B, the current distributed in such a way that J is proportional to S, or the current density is proportional to the distance S, the distance from the axis. So as you will notice that we're going to use cylindrical coordinate system here. Now, to start with, similar to your, similar when you solve uh, Gauss law, here we're going to look into two ampere loops. The first ampere loop is the ampere loop that will cover the outside. So this is your S. And the second ampere loop will be the ampere loop inside. So you will notice that this ampere loop, if we're going to look at the side or uh, into this view it will look like a circular loop so generally Ampere's law in integral form is determined by getting the magnetic flux So the magnetic flux will now be equal to in the close integral of B dot dn. Because the ampere loop is symmetrical to your magnetic field, this is now equal to B integral of dn. And we expect that this integral will be just the circumference of your ampere and loop. But let's see. So remember that the DL for a cylindrical coordinate system is given by B times integral of S d V. Or this is now equal to because S it's a constant with respect to phi. You can put it out. And then the integral will be evaluated from 0 to 2 pi. So the end result is B times 2 pi S, which is exactly what the circumference of this imperial loop is. And Ampere's law states that this is equal to mu naught times I and close. And therefore, we can summarize B as follows. For S greater than A, so this is the red one. For S greater than A, that the total I enclosed by this ampere loop would be the total I. So basically, this is equal to mu naught I over 2 pi S from here. And then the direction is along the phi direction. On the other hand, for S less than A, so that means inside, by the way, this is outside, and this is inside. So for inside, there is no I enclosed. So therefore, this is 0. So again, for outside, the I enclosed is I. And for outside, uh, for inside, the I enclosed is 0. So this is the magnetic field for inside and outside the sphere. Now, it will be a bit different for letter B because in this case, the current is distributed inside the wire. So, 
letter B. Look again, this is for letter A. Again, the approach is the same. We still use the Ampere's law. However, because of the uh, peculiarity of the distribution, so it's proportional to K, so the distribution J or the density J is, let's say, K times S. So, we know that we need this to calculate the current. Current is J dA, the integral. So, this is now equal to what? This is equal to integral of Ks times dA would be S dS dP. So, this is a double integral. So, this is now equal to K times what? This is K times S squared dS. Okay? Then, evaluated from 0 to A because we're only looking for the wire, the current in the wire. So, this is 0 to A times integral of T phi. It's from 0 to 2 pi. And the result here is what? This is 2 pi. This is S cube over 3 evaluated from 0 to A. So that's A cube over 3 times K. So the end result is 2 pi K A cube over 3. Okay. So therefore, K is now equal to 3i over 2 pi a cube. So why do we need this? We're going to need this because we need to find the enclosed charge. So for a for r for s greater than a. So for s greater than A outside. Okay, so you will notice that this Amperian loop covers the whole current. So that means the I enclosed would be equal to 2 pi K A cube over 3. Okay, so following magnetic field, so we still use the same thing. So B is equal to mu mu I enclosed over 2 pi S. So substituting this here, we now have B equals mu naught. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, wait, wait, later, later. Let's look at it later. Okay, let's finish first the uh, for I enclose for. Yeah, I enclose for S less than A. For S less than A, I enclose would be the integral of J dA from 0 to S. As I mentioned earlier, this is equal to integral of similar to this. 
so this is what k s prime times 2 pi this 2 pi is coming from here and then s prime ds prime in this case we are now reduced to an integration along s prime so this is 2 pi k s cube over 3 Okay, you see, so from here we can now see that what. I enclose for s less than a would be equal to i s cube over a cube. Okay, so we can now summarize the following. So, for points less than A, uh, for points outside the current, the magnetic field would be equal to mu naught I over 2 pi S. Okay, it's the same result as your first one. Okay, because they both basically cover the whole current I. Now, for inside the magnetic field will now be equal to mu naught I S cube uh, so S squared, sorry. Then we substitute here. So S cube here will cancel with S here over 2 pi A cube. Again, the direction is along the P hat. Okay? So that's it. Very easy. The point here is that when you choose your ampere and loop, it should be a uh, symmetrical to your system just like when you are solving with your Gaussian a uh, Gauss law that for every Gaussian surface you have to choose your Gaussian shape or Gaussian surface and the corresponding co correct coordinate system so in this case for a wire we use cylindrical coordinate system okay I hope that's clear for you uh, and you learned something today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.